there just seems to be a total lack of comprehension on this panel um, and indeed amongst this audience which is a remarkable audience even even by even by the left wing standards of the BBC I mean this lot's pretty left wing oh, hang, on, hang on a second and, hang, on, hang on a second that, that hang when you no, talk no, about Nigel, housing, let me just say one thing yes. this is an audience that yes. has been carefully chosen not Very by the carefully. BBC not by the BBC yes. but by an independent polling organisation to represent the balance between all parties. It's never a great no, time. Very good. Uh, uh, so very good. Very good. Well, no, I'm, I'm, anyway, carry on. I think it's, I think it's very interesting. It's, it's, very never, interesting. it's never a great you, idea you, you to attract the audience, discuss. Nigel, in you my... You cannot my, discuss. In my, in my no, no, the real audience are sitting at home, actually. The... You cannot no, discuss. Let, let, no, hang on. No, 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 let him fine. have his say. No, no, that's fine. No, um, go on. It, remarkable. Though I find it absolutely baffling. Let me put it to you that you lost your rag last night by hitting out at the audience in that way. Oh, no, I was very calm about it. Didn't lose my rag. I was very calm about it. I mean, the question was housing. Uh, and I put a question to the panel. I said, look, if the population goes up by several million, do you accept that puts pressure on housing? Oh, no, they all said. And the audience seemed to agree with that. And I, I would put it to you uh, that most rational people could see that a housing market is about demand and supply. This is not the first time I've seen this. Um, I remember the night of the uh, by-election that Douglas Carswell won in Clacton uh, with a landslide. And there was a UKIP representative, Patrick O'Flynn, on question time that night with an audience in Clacton that was deeply hostile to him. So, you know, sometimes these things go wrong. Uh, sometimes, you know, you get groups who apply to be on programmes who perhaps aren't quite as truthful with their applications as they should be. But do you think the BBC needs to review the way it puts audiences together? And are you going to complain about the well, way this audience was put together? Well, in this case, the BBC gave the job to a polling company called ICM. Uh, who are famous for getting everything about UKIP wrong, um, and that, that, I think, was the mistake. So you don't think there's any need for the BBC itself to do anything? Well, the BBC chose the wrong people. Um, am I going to make a complaint? I've got an election to fight. And actually, look, what really matters is not the 200 people in the room. What really matters are the millions of people that watched it on television. And for those viewers, was there anything last night that changed this election? Uh, maybe just one thing, that it's completely clear that the only way that Ed Miliband can become Prime Minister is with the SNP's support. And, and yeah, I'm very worried about the Scottish tail wagging the English dog. I'm very worried, uh, you know, as to what that means for English taxpayers. Uh, I'm very worried uh, what it means when it comes to immigration and all of these issues. And uh, I would just say, you know, if you're a Labour voter who's worried about the kind of issues I'm worried about, be very, very careful before you vote.